Hey yogis, I thought I'd just have a little fun this morning. Um, it's the middle of summer. I'm not teaching classes right now because this is low season, so hardly anybody's around. Uh, but I do have to keep up my practice over the summer, so I do asana two to three times a week in addition to my daily practices. And one of the things I've been working on overall is trying to really improve my full Padmasana so that I can sit comfortably in meditation for long periods of time. Padmasana is considered the ultimate, maybe not the ultimate, but it's probably the most stable posture that you can sit in if you're going into deep, deep meditation and the body is going to be immobilized for a period of time while your consciousness is somewhere else. I can get into Padmasana, it's not super comfortable for me to sit in for a long period of time, so I'm trying to open that up a little bit more and mostly the issue is in my hips. Uh, so I'll show you what I've been doing. So get into Padmasana. Now I've been working with this one for a lot of years, so it's not like it's super uncomfortable, but a half an hour like this would start to bother me. You can see where I've got a little bit uh, less external rotation in my left hip than I do on the right side, so uh, trying to work with that, make that a little bit more mobile. So I get into Padmasana and come forward onto hands and knees like so. Move my knees back a little here. And then I'm just lowering onto my belly. I'll have to look up the actual name of this posture. And I'll put it on the screen when I edit this. And then once I'm here and sort of adjust myself properly, I can really just release through the hips and let gravity do the work and let the lotus blossom on its own. Now to do the full posture, we take the hands into reverse namaskar. Uh, which helps open the shoulders and you can see there's an energetic gesture so there's a mudra here with my fingertips pointing up the spine helping direct energy up the spine toward the crown of the head. Now this is quite relaxing although for me the shoulders get to be an issue after a while so what I'll usually do is try to lengthen my spine a little bit more to really let gravity get into the hips here and then I'll just sort of lie with my head on the backs of the hands or something like that and relax. And believe it or not, this is a pretty relaxing posture. So there you have it. And you can lie in that one as long as you feel comfortable. Five minutes, 10 minutes, that'll be plenty. And while you're in Padmasana, if you wanna play with that, you can do things like maybe practice lifting up on your fingertips, play with some other arm positions or mudras. Um, but it speaks to the efficiency and the beauty of yoga and how it helps maintain the physical body. Um, I've been practicing for 25 years plus and I turned 60 years old last month. So, just goes to show. Namaste. <laughs>